February 22, sorting the 2021 birds again. Gonna do something just a little bit different on this one. I've actually put the two cockerels up here with the pullets. These are all non-bearded buff lace bantams. Gonna have a lot of the same issues as my golds because they are all related. So those are some things I gotta keep in mind. I'm gonna start off with the cockerels here. This one is much larger, but this one I do not like his comb, his crest at all. So he's out. Plus, I'm pretty sure he's probably uh, single copy dominant white, as dark as he is. Not saying this one isn't, but by comparison, he has a much better head. So he's staying in, the other one's out. Uh, this one does have a missing toenail. That is a trait that I'm gonna have to work on breeding out of this line. All traces back to one bird, so. Just remember, one bird can make or break a line, and if uh, you're breeding a bird that has defects, you gotta know that you're gonna have to pick real hard to get rid of those defects. So, this guy's out. So now we'll take a look at the pullets. Now ideally, you want your bantams to be built just like your large fowl. And I would say that this little pullet here, uh, looks pretty close to what my large fowl currently look like not saying either one are perfect but i'd say she is in line with them this one here although i think she's probably going to end up being the smallest of the bunch wind's blowing her tail right now this is a uh, group this is group six here and this is group five so she's probably the smallest one up here but she's narrow in the body, pinched tail, not a very good crest, so she's probably gonna go. Down here, we've got three pullets. These two are from set four. They are single copy dominant white, which means they can produce golds depending on what you breed them to. And then down here, we've got a set three pullet and she is two copies. So you can see how much difference a single copy and a double copy of dominant white makes on the overall color. Um, this pullet here, she's got all her toes. Her crest might be smaller than the other two, but I feel like she uh, fans her tail out better when she's standing proper. And um, overall, I like her earlobes and her there you go stand up her nostril development could be better in all honesty but they're all about the same on that so that's something i'll probably have to look to another bloodline to improve with but she's staying in so that leaves these two here looks like they've got all their toenails I would say their earlobe color is about the same. So then really it comes down to which one I think is gonna be the better fit. I think I'm gonna go with this one because I think her nostrils are a little bit better defined. So this pullet from Pen4 will be available. Keep in mind they're gonna be too big to be proper Bantams and she has one copy dominant white so she can produce some golds if you breed her to a gold or you breed her to a buff male that is one copy dominant white also. So that pullet This pullet here from Pen5 are both available. I'm gonna take this one from Pen6. I'm gonna move her down and compare her to the two that I kept back. One of the final three on the Bantam pullets. So I've got set three on the right, set six in the middle, and set four on the left. Uh, 
Honestly, I think the crest is better on number six than it is on number three. It's a little more full, but uh, at the same time, it looks like set three's crest is uh, been beat up a bit and is possibly lopsided. The um, crest on set four here is kind of low. Uh, down on the face, sits low on the head. Her uh, shafting is lighter than the rest of her color. I'm not terribly worried about that due to her being a single copy dominant white. Um, she's got good leg color. Number six here is missing a toenail. So that's something we gotta consider. So I think for now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna hold on to all three of these just because I'm a little ways off um, from breeding season. More than likely I'm gonna go with set four and set six though.